It's almost hibernating time. I need to hurry up and gather some food. Little bear, we're here to help you. I'll make sure you have a full stomach before you hibernate. Thank you so much. Let me show you my power. Super bouncy jump! <laughs> Kids, let's catch fruit together! able to see you guys this whole winter. Why? I'll have to hibernate all winter. Go ahead and eat. We'll find a way. It must be because it's so cold in winter that Little Bear hides himself away and sleeps through it. I agree. Let's surprise Little Bear with a big cape. If he has some warm clothes, he probably won't need to hibernate. Little Mouse, we want to make a cape for Little Bear. No problem. Let's choose the cloth first. Kids, which piece of cloth do you think looks better? Wow, is a nice choice. We need to measure how big Little Bear is. Little Bear is not here. How do we take his measurements? I got an idea. Let's go back and measure him with our hands secretly. That's right. A surprise is meant to be prepared in secret. Little Bear is this wide. I can put my hands on the cloth to measure it. I have to slow... Oops! My hands accidentally moved a bit! It's inaccurate now. It's too hard to measure with our hands. Let's ask Kiki. He will have a good idea. Please tap on Kiki's avatar for me. We want to know how much cloth we need to make a cape for Little Bear. But we don't know how to measure it. Okay, I'll come and help. <laughs> Kiki, please teach us how to measure it. I will tell you the answer. Do you know how long this loaf of bread is? Mm. It's this. Long. Yes, but not exactly. Let's put some blocks under the bread. Put them in a straight line. One. The bread is the same length as three blocks. Yes. Or we can say that this loaf of bread is as long as three building blocks. Quack, quack. But there were no building blocks in the forest. Well, there are many twigs. We can measure him with twigs. Brilliant! Let's go find some twigs. Let's, Let's go! to cut the twigs to the same length in order to be accurate. Done! <laughs> Shh! Let's put the twigs behind Little Bear 
to see how wide his waist is. How many twigs are there all together? There, there are three, three twigs! twigs! Yes! Now let's measure Little Bear's height. Quack! Little Bear's asleep! Just in time to measure his height. Measure from shoulder to foot with twigs. How many twigs are there all together? How many twigs are there all together? There, there are two, two twigs! twigs. That's right! You guys are awesome! Can we make clothes now? Of course! Who still remembers how wide Little Bear is? It's the width of three twigs! Yes! Let's put the twigs together in a line. Next is the height of Little Bear. It's the length of two twigs. Let's continue placing the twigs. Draw lines along the edge as a guide for cutting. Now you can cut along the lines. It's done cutting. But this cloth can only cover the front of Little Bear's body and his butt will be showing. <laughs> so we still need one more piece of cloth. Let's cut out another piece of cloth to the size of the original one. That's a nice measurement. I can make a big and warm cape with some fleece. Ta-da! Wow! Little Bear, this is a big surprise for you. It's nice and warm. Thank you. Baby, it's time to go home and get ready to hibernate. Can Little Bear not hibernate when he has a warm cape? We still want to play together. <laughs> we hibernate. Not because we're afraid of the cold. It's too hard to find food in winter. So we can only get through the winter by sleeping. Oh, now I get it. Anyway, thank you for the lovely pajamas you've made for Little Bear. I guess I'll have lots of sweet dreams in it. Quacky's Adventure Diary! Who did we make new clothes for today? It's our good friend Little Bear! I'll leave the coloring part to you. You can use the eraser if you make a mistake. It's really good looking. Do you remember what we used to measure Little Bear with? Yes, twigs! How come there aren't enough twigs? Oh, they're crooked. Tap where it's crooked and level it for me. <laughs> this is perfect now. We cut two pieces of cloth to this size before Little Mouse made the cape. Finally, let's decorate it with stickers! It's done! I had so much fun writing a diary with you! Practice with Quacky! 
basic exercises. Do you know how many dolls are as long as a bed? Do you know how many dolls are... The bed is five dolls long. Do you know how many plates are as long as a desk? The desk is five plates long. Do you know how many blocks are as long as a cake? Long. Advanced exercises! Let's measure the length of the beetle with rice grains. The red beetle is four grains of rice long. Let's measure the length of the beetle with... The blue beetle is five grains of rice long. Which beetle is longer? Expanded exercises! Let's measure the length. How much longer is daddy crocodile than baby crocodile? Much longer is daddy crocodile than baby crocodile? How much longer is daddy crocodile is two twigs longer than baby crocodile? Do it with Quacky! Oh my, I didn't pay much attention to its width when I bought it. If the desk is wider than the door and it won't fit, your efforts will be in vain. Don't worry, I am strong. Mom and Dad, what's going on? Ah, you found it! We've bought you a new desk. It was meant to be a surprise. It is beautiful, I love it! But I couldn't find the tape measure, so I couldn't compare the width of the desk and the door. I'm not sure if we can move it into the room. Hmm. Ah, I got it. We can measure them with my toy cars to see which one is wider. Wow, Quacky is so clever. Kids, let's put the toy cars behind the door and see how wide it is. door is as wide as three toy cars. Then measure the width of the desk with the toy cars. The desk is narrower than three toy cars. Wow! Mom and Dad, the desk is narrower than the door. We can move the desk into the room now. You're awesome! Kids, what do you want to measure with your toys? Go and tell your mom and dad how you measure them.